Hi everyone, it's me Nikki here today and I hope you all are doing fantastic. I'm here today to actually do a product review of the Mi Allegro Immersion Blender. I want to thank Mi Allegro. They sent me one to do a product review on and I am so excited to do this. I love kitchen items and I think an Immersion Blender is one that is one of those things that I can say is a must have in your kitchen. After I received this from Mi Allegro, I actually did some research and found that this brand was actually named one of the best buys in the Immersion Blender market. So that has me really excited to try out this product. Because um, Immersion Blenders are great when you're making this, those soups that you want to puree. And the great thing about an Immersion Blender is they can withstand the heat. You can put them in your hot soups. You can make your smoothies, your breakfast smoothies with them. You can make chop up your tomatoes and stuff to make your bruschetta, you know, whatever chopping, whisking, all those kind of things that you have to do in a kitchen, an immersion blender does it. And so that's why I think that there are, you know, they are one of the must-haves in the kitchen. And so I'm so, so excited about giving this one a twirl here. I'm going to take you on that journey with me so that you and I can kind of review it together. You can kind of see what the pros and cons are. And, you know, we can just kind of, um, help with you know some of you who are out there who are in the market looking to buy an immersion blender and this is a great way to kind of get test run one um, before you actually make a purchase. Now this one runs between $60 and $70. You can get it off the Mi Allegro website. You can um, also go to Amazon.com. They have different um, you know watts and um, styles and colors and things and you can kind of see you know the different ones that they have out there. So let's get in the kitchen and give this baby a twirl. Okay, before we actually get in the kitchen, I want to introduce you up close to the product. It's the Mi Allegro Mi Tuto. The model is 9090. It's 550 watts. It comes with the blender with the motor handheld shaft. It has a blender shaft, a whisk attachment, a beaker, and a BPA-free chopper bowl. Mi Allegro, I give you thumbs up already for having the color green. I absolutely love this color. And so let's get into the kitchen. So this is what I prepared today for breakfast. Eggs Benedict minus the meat. And I also made an uh, orange Julius to go along with it. Very refreshing. And I used the Mi Allegro Matuto as my assistant and gave it a twirl. And so that's the journey that I'm going to take you all on with me today. Okay, the first thing I did was I got my water boiling so that I could poach my eggs for the Egg Benedict. And I like to get it at 200 degrees, so I'm just testing it out here. Now, by no means am I a perfectionist at poaching eggs. I just boil my water, get it to 200. I put a teaspoon of vinegar, a little bit of salt to kind of help keep the eggs together, um, keep the egg together, and I give it a swirl before putting my egg in. And I make, you know, poached eggs well enough for my household. I'm not a professional at all. I put my egg in a ramekin before I actually pour it into my pot. It tends to help me better than just kind of breaking the egg into the pot. And then I'm going to let it boil for about four minutes and that always tends to work for me. Now we're going to make the hollandaise sauce. I have three egg yolks here, a teaspoon of heavy cream, and I also have a pinch of cayenne pepper, and then a one third cup of lemon juice, but I would even use half of that. I think I always use a little bit too much. And then I'm going to use some butter also. You need one stick of salted butter. And so then I wanted to go with using my blender shaft here from the Mi Allegro Mi Tuto. And here it comes with the four different blades. And so I was trying to figure out which blades to use. And I wanna give thumbs up to Mi Allegro for actually having it kind of identified in their instruction book here. It made it very easy for me to go here and figure out which blade I needed, which was the aerator blade. Hope I pronounced that correctly. And that's kind of the effect that I wanted with what I was making. And so this was this is a great little um, nifty little tool here to have. I will say, Mi Allegro, it was very easy to get the blade on. It snaps right on. But what I have to give a thumbs down for is actually having to use another attachment or tool to get the blade off. I just did not like that. I wish, like in future models, if you could possibly, just as a suggestion, make it somehow where we did not have to use a tool to get the blade off. Now, I will say that using the tool, it came right off. It was not a problem at all. It's just actually having something to keep up with to get it off. Um, I, you know, I didn't like. But other than that, we went in and we put our three egg yolks into our beaker. We put our cayenne pepper in there. Then I put my heavy cream, my teaspoon, of, a tablespoon of heavy cream. I just simply turned it to three and that's the speed that I felt would help me. And voila, oh, it was great. I mean, it really was easy. It's very clean, no splashing. It blended it in no time. It really got my hollandaise sauce looking like hollandaise sauce in no time and it did the job. Now I'm 
adding in my lemon juice, which that's the kind of final touch for the hollandaise sauce here, but it worked great. This is such an easy recipe for hollandaise sauce, and I actually found it in the Mi Allegro book. I used, I used to make it a different way, but trying their way was just so easy. I did want to give the whisk a, a spin too. I didn't have to, but I want to show you guys. And this is kind of my favorite. I love the whisk. This is great when I don't want to pull out my kitchen aid when I'm cooking. I can just bring this whisk out. Very great speed. I mean, that baby runs. That motor is no joke. It really, really is a uh, good quality and it runs. So I was very happy about that. And there, my hollandaise sauce is good. I have my um, English muffin toasted. I have my poached eggs on here. And now I'm just going to pour on my hollandaise sauce. And we are just ready to roll. I think it's easy cleanup because now I just have to clean up the beaker and my whisker. Put a little green onion on here. And voila, breakfast is served. I only need to make our smoothie now, which I'm going to do next and show you on uh, how I did that. And I actually used the BPA-free beaker for that. Um, not the, the chopper bowl, I'm sorry. And I probably shouldn't have done this. I, you don't want to do your smoothies in this. Um, I put a little bit of sugar, half a cup of sugar, half a cup of water, half a cup of milk, a couple ice cubes. But um, I made a little mistake here. You know, I'm not good at reading instructions and I went um, a little overboard. And when I started blending, I noticed, I said, why is it kind of spilling? And you see right there where it's kind of, and I was like, oh, this is not good. This is not good. And so after researching, I found that, you know, it was operator error. It was not Mia Allegro's fault. I exceeded the max line by a lot. And so it caused me to have my spillage. But if I would have followed directions, which I did the second time, it worked fine. And so the smoothie still turned out, but I would recommend using the beaker and the um, blender shaft when you make your smoothies versus using the chopper. The chopper is more for like food processing, like your veggies and things like that. And so it really worked out great. I have to say, Mi Allegro, I, I really enjoyed working with you in the kitchen. It, it really was fun. I give you a thumbs up for your product. The only down thing I can say is about having that use that attachment to take the blade off. Other than that, for your price point, you have a great product. I think that um, for the price, it really is a great product. And I think it really will help me in my kitchen. I think that um, it's very speedy. I think that it's it's got a nice hold to it, has a nice quality to it. And I enjoyed cooking with Mi Allegro today. So I do have a discount code if any of you are interested. It's in the description box below. Also, I do want to tell you that you can go to the Mi Allegro website to see their products and get more details. It's www.miallegro.com. And I hope you've enjoyed the video today. I hope you've enjoyed me reviewing this product from Mi Allegro. I would like to thank Mi Allegro for sending it to me. And I hope you all have a beautiful day. Thank you.